Good morning. It's good to be with you again this morning. And uh, it's uh, Jack Fleet Street here. And I'm just um, bringing up my notes here. So, building on the four pillars of health, uh, of a healthy bu uh, Christian business leader. And um, the four pillars are healthy relationships. Good morning, Jeremy. Um, the healthy uh, bi uh, relationships, uh, biblical financial values, and um, biblical spirituality, and then the final one is balanced living. Uh, this week, we're dealing with pillar number one, which is healthy relationships. And the series this week that we're dealing with is actually called Love and Respect. Uh, yesterday, we talked about what is love, and uh, this morning, uh, we're going to be talking about what is respect. And so... Um, Respect is a feeling uh, of deep admiration for someone or something um, elicited by their abilities and their qualities and achievements. It is also, um, it also has to do with regard and feelings, um, you know, where we're recognizing that we need to respect people's wishes and their rights uh, or the traditions, um, you know, Recognizing that not everybody is like us and that that's okay and we need to treat people with respect. Um, again, it's the act of admiring someone or something deeply uh, as a result of their abilities, their qualities, and their achievements. Uh, Paul talks about um, leaders in the church and he says they should be respectable. That's found in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. This is an overseer talking about a pastor or an elder in the church. Then must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, uh, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, skillful, and te uh, uh, skillful in teaching. Now, as a leader in your business or church or at home or you know, in the community, it is important to be respectable. Uh, this means that respect is something that we have to earn. Uh, whereas love is something that is given, uh, we should not have to earn love from our family and friends. Um, but we do not, um, we should not expect that people will just automatically respect us just because we have a position. And so oftentimes in uh, churches, in business, uh, in the community, people have this idea that, well, I have this title. And because my title says whatever, you know, I'm the boss, or my title says I'm the pastor, or my title says, you know, I'm, I'm a, a, a counselor on, um, you know, in the community, that all of a sudden that means that I, people are to treat me with respect. Um, but respect is something that we have to earn. And when we demand respect, um, that seldom goes well. Um, and so I've, I've seen people that have tried to demand respect. And uh, the reality is that uh, people tend to respect them less because they're demanding respect. So if we show respect, you know, if we're kind, if we listen to people, if we don't come off like a know-it-all, um, but when, you know, a situation arises, we're able to contribute to the situation in a useful manner um, and we're able to adapt and take someone else's opinion into consideration and take someone else's advice or ideas uh, and not lose our cool with people when we don't get our way. Um, that goes a long way to earning respect. Now, so it's one thing about the issue of respecting us and so me wanting to be respected and want people to treat me with respect but there's the other side of respect and love and that is um, how do we deal with uh, respecting others and and that that is significant now the apostle peter actually summarizes the uh, you know this for us uh, he summarizes it in his teaching in his first epistle First Peter chapter 2, verse 17, he says, Show proper respect to everyone. Love the brotherhood of believers. Fear God. Honor the king. And so there are four things, four things that he actually encompasses in that little verse for us. 
First of all, we should respect all people. All people. People of every um, nationality, of every gender, um, of every walk of life. Uh, what, whatever, you know, we need to show respect to people. We need to treat people with respect, be kind, um, even if we disagree. And, and if there's one thing I've noticed uh, in this whole thing with COVID-19 is it seems that so many times people are not treating each other with respect. And so there are obviously differing opinions on all kinds of stuff with this COVID-19 right now. Um, differing opinions on, on, you know, whether we accept what the government is doing or we don't, whether we wear masks or we don't. You know, whether we, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And even in the church world, we've got churches that are saying, no, no, yeah, if you're not staying open, then you're not being faithful to God. And, and then others, if you, are, if you are staying open, you're not being faithful to God. And uh, you, you get all of that. And then everything in between. And, and here's the thing. Paul, uh, sorry, Peter is saying in this passage, we, re we should respect all people. So even the people we disagree with, we at least ought to be able to do so in a respectful manner, to deal with them with respect. Then he, the next one, line in there is also the brotherhood. And there he's talking about fellow Christians. Now it's interesting, in, in another passage we're told that we're to love all people, but most of all, love the brethren. Here he doesn't use that language. Here he says we're to respect all people. And then he says we're also to respect our Christian brothers. And, and again, within the Christian church, so oftentimes, one of the problems that occurs that causes people to, to stop even going to church is because um, they're being dealt with in ways that are just not respectful, not kind, not the way we would you know, want to be treated. And so, you know, that is a significant, to me, a significant part of what it means to follow after God. So we want to be respectful of all. We want to be especially respectful of Christians and then respectful of God. You know, in, in every situation, we need to be asking ourselves, what would God want us to do? How does God want us to live? Um, what is what does it mean to be obedient to God, to 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 serve Him, and so we're to be respectful of God, to be respectful of His Word, and to do so uh, that demonstrates to the world that we love God above all else. And then the fourth is government authorities, the King, government authorities, and again we're living in this day and age where there are people who who basically are, are, in essence, bowing down to the government, whatever the government says we're going to do. And then there are people who, on the other hand, are, you know what? No, we're not, we don't believe the government is telling us the truth. We, and, and so they're, they're wanting to be disrespectful of the government to the point of, you know, I'm not going to obey. I'm not going to do what the government says. And yet here in this passage, we're told very clearly that we are to show respect, even to the government. Now, uh, and, and, you know, we can get into this idea that, well, they were living in a good, nice Christian environment. And, of course, you can respect the government because the government, no, th that's the farthest from the truth. The government in their day was not respectful, did not love Christians, was not doing things that was good for the church. In fact, they were persecuting the church. And yet, both Paul and Peter tell us that we are to be respectful of the government. And the word respect that is translated here is a Greek word that means to honor and value. It literally means to place a great value or high price on something. So today, as you go about your day, I encourage you to worry less about being respected and more about respecting others around you. And maybe go out, you know, maybe go out of our way to show respect to someone who maybe doesn't get a lot of respect. And we just go out of our way and do what we can to show them the kind of respect that is due. Have a great day. May the Lord bless you.